What is up, Internet? Digirex here, and today I'm coming at you with a brand new Void Bastards video. And in today's Void Bastards video, I am going to be talking to you guys about the Rifter, a weapon, or should I say a gadget, as it does go in your third slot, that rifts enemies out of existence, and then you can rift them back in wherever you want, whenever you want. So essentially, it is a Pokeball that captures enemies, and you can throw them back out in the world to do whatever you want want with. So the Rifter is the third thing you can craft in the skill tree for the gadget slot and to craft the original Rifter which you see in the gameplay here you just need a warp spear that is the only thing you need and that just like I said rifts targets out of the world and returns them on demand kind of like my dad rifted out of the world but uh, he never returned ha 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 um and then for the upgrade there's only one upgrade for that you need a Magatron and a let wheel to do it and it does the exact same thing except on return your target spins and causes amnesia so you can really disorient some more powerful enemies or just rift them back in the world and run away from them. The rifter is really cool because you can literally rift anything. You can rift turrets, you can rift peepers, you can rift sec bots as you see here. Uh, and of course, once you have the upgrade, you will be able to go behind them and turn them if you have enough merit. So if a sec bot is chasing you down, you can riff them and change them to your side fairly easily. And that's the same with turrets, which is actually a really unique quality of this thing. It's really useful for turning uh, turrets and sec bots that you normally wouldn't be able to turn. That is just one really nice utility of this gadget. This gadget doesn't really have a range limit, so you can shoot and capture people from however far you want. Although when you return them, you can only return them a certain distance in front of you, which happens to be pretty damn close. So if you have a powerful enemy in your rifter, I would definitely recommend throwing them around a corner or something like that, and then trying to lock the door in this all. If you have like a fast, fast authorization perk, or trait on your character that helps a lot because you can just throw them around the door and then run away. I did this with a lot of more powerful enemies, enemies that you normally would not want to get in a gunfight with. You can just pick them up, throw them around the corner, and lock the door. Super, super useful to get around tougher enemies. As you saw, pretty much like the first clip in the video, you can also use it for some useful things like taking tourists, putting them next to enemies, and then blowing up the tourists next to enemies. You basically are weaponizing the enemy, which is super useful because Taurus actually do a decent amount of damage when they explode next to enemies. So instead of using your bushwhackers or bangers or whatever, you can pick up a Taurus for, I mean, pretty much just one ammo of the Rifter and then deposit him near an enemy you want to kill and then just shoot the Taurus. It's easy as that. Uh, like I said, this can also help with bosses. If there's a boss on the ship, like you'll see in a minute, you can just... You can just hold them in your rifter for the uh, duration that you're on the ship, and then, yeah. This makes it so that you don't have to worry about fighting or running from a super powerful enemy, such as that boss screw right there. Grabbing them from pretty far away, and then I'll just keep them in my rifter until I get to the end of my run. And then when you return to Steve, your rifter goes back to normal. You don't have to put them down or anything, and then at the start of your next run, your rifter will be clear. So basically, when you return to Steve, it just empties out your rifter for you. Whatever was in it is gone now. So the rifter is also extremely good against Zex, which you won't find in this gameplay here as this gameplay was taken before I got to depth 4, because Zex only appear once you get to depth 4 in the nebula. But de uh, if you don't know what Zex are, they basically hold up a shield that is imper you can't pierce it with bullets, it's bulletproof. Uh, you can kill them with explosives, but even that's difficult sometimes. So the Rifter is extremely good for them because you can pick them up, put them in a room you'll never have to see them again, and just lock them in there. Super, super useful. It's also really useful for spooks if you see them before they teleport. Just scoop the spook up and throw it somewhere and then especially if you have the disorienting upgrade on this thing spooks become a breeze to kill as sometimes the zapper you can use to kill spooks but can sometimes be extremely inaccurate and just a pain in the ass um, but of course the rifter and especially the disorienting upgrade is extremely good so guys those that's what you want to use the rifter for I definitely try to craft this thing super early as it is really really good it's probably my favorite gadget in the uh, entire game just extremely useful overall so I hope you guys enjoyed the video please craft the rifter remember to take those more powerful enemies remember you can take sec bots and a whole load of other stuff with you extremely useful uh, you can also use it like I said to hack security protocol 
and stuff like that. There's only one upgrade to it, which is pretty easy to obtain. You only need two objects, so you can get this thing fully upgraded in no time. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more Void Bastards. I'm probably going to be doing a video on the Kitty Bots next or something like that. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to know about. I just wanted to inform you guys on the Rifter and some uses for it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been Didrex. Peace.